don't know about you, but I live in the most beautiful place on earth. Our trees are the highest. Our fences are the straightest. Everything is in order. Even the sun rises every morning. I make sure of it so I know. As soon as the sun is up, the neighbors wake up. They wish each other good morning. And then everything just goes on very well, of course. My favorite thing in the morning is helping Uncle Petya. I really don't know how he'd manage without me. Sometimes mom and dad go to the exhibition in the morning. They never worry about us. They know we have someone to watch us. Every nanny should remember. The most important thing is playing outside. The more games you know, the more children love you. I love all kinds of games. For example, Lost and Lost or Finding the Yuck. Grandpa comes to play with us sometimes, but the game never goes well. Daddy says it's because he once played kick the bucket. But I'm not sure what it means. Did he win or did he lose? Of course the most fun is when we all play together. Especially if the game has a specific goal. Our nanny is great. She always invents something new. She never gets tired. She's a great artist. She always remembers to feed the children after all the games. Then, to put them to bed. <laughs> Mom and Dad come home at night. They're very pleased to find that everything here is okay. <laughs> The day was just perfect. What could have gone wrong? It's pure pleasure to babysit children like us.
don't know about you, but I like to look at the stars when I can't sleep. I like to imagine what things are like over there. Do their yards have fences? Do they plant potatoes or pick them off trees? Do they have piglets? It'd be nice if they came here. They tell us everything about themselves. other planets came here, we'd give them a proper welcome. We'd show them around and explain how we live. We'd protect them from enemies and feed them well. Piglets from other planets wouldn't be bored here. You can always come up with a game everyone understands. Like tag? But I wonder, do those piglets look at least something like us? From the side? Even if they don't, we'd still be happy to have them. We'd take care of them like they were family. Someday, they will definitely come and stay with us. Because life is so nice and quiet here. Sometimes, I look at our yard and think about how Perfect it is. I can't think of anything we can improve about the whole setup. Except for maybe inviting some guests so we can admire it together. Uh, 
You know what they say. As soon as you think about guests, they come. A guest came here too. Looking so important and serious. And all shiny. Of course everyone wanted to know what that pretty stuff is. And where we can get some too. In our yard, only new tubs shine like that. And the stars in the sky. Ah, oh, he must be a star too! A star guest! People invite star guests to have better quality of life. I heard that on the radio. Not everyone was ready for change. But everyone wanted to have shiny things around their necks. So we got ready to find out who can get them and for what. As it turned out, they're called medals. You have to win them. To win, you have to play special games. The Olympic Games. There are different competitions. Who's the fastest? Who can go the highest? Who's the strongest? Those are some really big heads. Who's the bounciest? I could win that one. Who's the dumbest? Or uh, was it who's the coolest? Ah, there, I remember. Who can go the farthest? And of course, there was diving. I noticed that all this competing brought us closer together. And our village became a truly Olympic one. Everyone here knows about competing in rewards yet. And some silly stuff makes them happy. They're so behind the times. <gasps> oh. Our games were over so fast. Something obviously went wrong. We must have pushed too hard and gone overboard and gone overboard let's face it not everyone was happy with their results and we didn't get any medals at all Finally, here's the solemn moment. Only a couple of weeks ago we were lighting the Olympic flame and now... I think I got it! <laughs> to make a competition go well, you must light something. <laughs> Otherwise there's no spark in it. Well, it's okay. The next time we'll really fire it up.
Huh? What time is it? It must be almost midnight. The ghost of Grandpa giveth me a sign. It beckons me to follow it away. But why? And wherefore? What am I to do? Like this before the ghost has never acted. He usually has quite a lot to say. He's up to something. Can't wait for night to come. He waves me over. I am coming. What's this? A block? I am a blockhead? Don't be calling names. You want me to do something to this log? To water or to paint it? Tell me more. He's gone again. I'll think more in the morning. That was a sign, I have no doubt of that. An arrow, ah. That's where I should be going. Something's rotten in the state of my farmyard. A pretty knife. It also has a meaning. I'll think about it later, I believe. The stump. That's where we started and now we're back. Leave, beast. I have no time for you right now. Let's try to dig a little deeper. Ah, poor hedgehog. I knew him or I knew him not. Who knows? <laughs> Come on now, Grandpa. What's going on? Tell me what it is you want. To be or not to be? Don't drink the wine? Something else? And who are you? Friend Horatio? I see now. What's that? Up there they're tired of the music? And they forbade you to speak of music sheets? Now I see why he never says a thing. What shall I get? I've never seen this thing. I don't know what the music sheets may look like. All right then, I will go and ask someone. Have you seen these music sheets? It's... I'm not sure what, but something that I need. This does not really look like music, does it? Do people drink it? Eat it? Sit or lay in it? These are music sheets? And are you certain? Well then, but how does Grandpa get them now? He can't just go and take it up to heaven. He's nothing but a shadow now. A ghost. That's it. I got it. He can use the shadow. How's that for you? Let's see what happens next now. It worked, my fellows. What a great success. Now may the music thunder for his pleasure. But up in heaven, keep it nice and quiet here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but as for me, all mornings are good.
In the morning, you can finally find answers to all of the questions that accumulated overnight. And that's quite a few questions. For example, would the sun go up if Uncle Peter didn't wake it? Or if it's not Uncle Peter but someone else? But my most important question in the morning is what to do. Everyone in our yard has their own important job. Except me. I don't have one yet because I can't choose what to do. My mom has interesting things to do, but there are too many. My dad doesn't have a lot to do, but it's all important stuff. Obviously has a goal in life. I want one too. seems to have a secret. And secrets are nice. I have to find out where my dad gets them. What if there's one for me too? that he keeps going somewhere. He went yesterday and the day before. Where can dads go secretly? I know where. They go places. Huh? Grandpa said that the first rule of that place is to tell nobody about the place. But why did he tell me then? <sighs> it turned out that my dad's secret place was a real men's job. Finding out who's stronger and more important this is called sports. It's not easy to do sports. One needs a lot of endurance and patience to watch it until the end and not to harm anybody. This is the job only the best men can handle. <laughs> Actually, in the end, it turned out that the strongest and the most important was my mom. Maybe she's also an athlete somewhere deep inside. Who knows? <laughs> After all these adventures, my mom said that the trying to see who's the 
what's it called, strongest, is a very foolish thing to do. And Grandpa said that not everything can be settled with the help of fists. Sometimes it's better to use your head. So I decided to use my head. And I think I found a perfect job for me. the weather forecast. Red beats crops. The circus has received a new portion of ponies. As usual, your morning is coming along to you with our radio station and as we do hope with good weather and good spirits. I don't know about you, but as for me, every day I see something I've never seen before. It's so interesting not to know something. I don't know what's painted here, but it's so interesting. They say it's the sea, and it's like a pond, just wider, deeper, ah, it can be rough. Slime, get here, put the cage on the window pane. And another thing. I'm curious, why do they need cages? It must be for hiding someone terrible. <laughs> or terribly beautiful. I wonder if anyone can tell me who it is. My mom suggested that this is a bit of a fluff. Awfully interesting. I need to find out more. Natured and trustful, they eat hay and vegetables. It is quite interesting, they are called sea pigs in other countries. Now that's Russia, what she is! A sea pig must need a sea. I'll be right there. Hang on. Oh no, 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 no! Looks like she's not feeling very well. It must be the real sea she needs. Ah, she can smell water. Isn't she jumping? Come on! Now everything will be just fine. Sea animals feel at home in water. Uh oh, something seems wrong. It looks like she can't swim! Hmm, I wonder why their names that 
don't suit their owners. The sea pig is not a sea pig at all. And this lady is no way a bird. <laughs> ah, but I know which name would suit her. Like my mom said, she's a bit of a fluff. In the springtime, our yard comes to life. Smiles are all around and snow and ice are dripping. Buds sprout and flowers come out. Ah, cool, that rhymes. And so many interesting things happen. Watch out for the ghetto. Look at them just sitting there. They make before lunchtime. It looks like it's getting cloudy. Once, I got into the place called the field and found out that people plant potatoes there. It's done in a special way with their eyes up. But if potatoes have eyes, does it mean that they're alive? You can't cover them with soil or they'll suffocate. All of them. Whoa, we didn't make it in time. All right, cover it up. Don't forget the kid or the woman will be mad. And others just live their lives having fun, not knowing what's going on in the world. <laughs> I decided I had to save the potatoes. that I was late after all. But there is still some hope. If you dig the potatoes up quickly, maybe it can still survive. What's this? How can this be? Shocks. Yeah. If people decide something, they don't give up easily. But I decided to wait until it gets dark and get my way. This. How can this be? Shocks! This is horrible! What's up there? Who did this? Hello, are you a freeloader?
In this conflict, the sites turned out to be uneven. I didn't do my job and decided that the potatoes were done for good, all because of me. This is when they told me that things were actually not all that sad. It turned out that the potatoes are buried so they can give birth to new young potatoes. And my mom and dad don't need to be buried to get new baby piglets. And that's great.